Charlie took her hand, and then, to her shock, he kissed her. Brianna's mom spotted the two kissing on the porch and stormed off angrily. I knew these beggars were going to be a nuisance. Everyone in school was shocked to see Brianna and Charlie walking into the hallway holding hands, and all anyone could talk about at recess was the brand new couple, and Madison and Elijah were pissed. I always knew Brianna wasn't really one of us, and she's proved how low class she is. To think that she had a chance with someone like me, and she chose that gutter rat. Trash likes garbage. But later in the hallway, Amber caught up with Charlie and Brianna and gave them a hug. You guys are so cute together, and I'm so happy for you. Really? I'm pretty sure I heard you call us trash and garbage. That's just an act from Maddie. You know how she gets. But I always knew you'd end up together. I have an eighth sense about these things. Like an octopus. Just then, Elijah and Maddie walked into the hallway and Amber jumped back. Ew, it hurts my face to look at you two. When I become president one day, I will ban scholarships for poor people in rich schools. She winked at them as she walked off, and Charlie and Brianna couldn't <laughs> help laughing. A few days later, Brianna and Charlie were hanging out in their favorite park, and Charlie could see Brianna seemed distracted. Brianna, don't freak out, but there's a giant tarantula next to your head. Yeah, sounds cool. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> I was kidding. Where are you lost today? It's nothing. Well, it's not nothing. Ugh. Here, read this critic's review on the latest Stargirl episodes. It's awful. You can't be taking this seriously. You don't sound like you have a half a brain, and your acting isn't underwhelming. Come on, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Yes, he does. And I know the show isn't the best, but I had to start somewhere, right? Of course, and people love it. Except that the show's ratings are tanking and the next season might be canceled. <sighs> Maybe mom was right all along and I'm just kidding myself with this acting business. No, you're brave to pursue your dream and you're lucky you get to do that without worrying about money. Don't give up on it. Well, there is something I've been thinking about to boost ratings. Don't judge me, okay? I have this doctor who I could pay to make fake medical records and say I have a serious disease. People would feel a lot of sympathy for a young, suffering actress, and it would jump up the view. It's a reality show, so you'd act like you're sick? Yeah, just to spice things up. All reality shows do stuff like that. How much would this cost? Um, like $200,000? Wow, okay, so you'd really just spend so much money on that? You're judging me, aren't you? I didn't say anything. He lay back down and fell quiet, and Brianna looked over at him. If you had $200,000 right now, what would you do with it? You know when I was away some weeks ago? I went back to my hometown to meet an old friend. Well, we've been working on an app together. I think we have a really good idea, so yeah, I'd, I'd invest in that. Then that's what I'll be doing with my $200,000. What? No, I wasn't asking for money, Brianna. I don't want charity. It's a loan. You said the app is promising. I'm sure you'll be able to pay me back. Do you really mean that? <laughs> Please, you're saving me from spending it on something stupid. I really mean it. Charlie stared at her, then let out an excited whoop and hugged her as she laughed. A few days later, Charlie walked into the boys' locker room to find the coach and Elijah sitting on on a bench looking pale. Coach, you called me? Charlie, I know this is a lot to ask, but we have the season's biggest game next week, and Elijah still can't play. He's hurt himself in practice, and we need a captain. It'd be a huge favor to the team. Otherwise, we're out. Elijah was seething with rage, but Charlie just couldn't turn down the coach. Of course, sir. I'll see you at practice. On the day of the match, Charlie played his heart out as team captain, and when he scored the winning goal against the school's biggest rivals, the whole crowd erupted into cheers. He ran over to Brianna in the stands and kissed her in front of everybody. Then his teammates carried him away on their shoulders while he waved the trophy happily. After celebrating with the team, Charlie headed out of school. He was just a couple of blocks away when someone pushed him into an alley. He looked up to see a couple of thugs, and behind them was Elijah. What are you doing? No, Charlie, what are you doing? You've really picked the wrong guy to mess with, haven't you? I'm not messing with you, man. I helped your team because you couldn't play. Now you want to beat me up for that? I couldn't play because your girlfriend caused my injury, and you're to blame. She rejected me and insulted me because of you. She rejected you before she even met me, because you're a jerk. <laughs> You little weasel. You might be flying high right now, but I've been trying to warn you, you don't belong here. What makes you think Brianna is so different suddenly? How can you be sure she isn't making a fool of you again? I'm sure. Now back off. I'm the school's hero right now. I don't think you want to mess with me. Elijah looked ready to punch him, but some kids passed by the alley just then, and he stepped away. This isn't over. Two days later, the school was holding its annual spring dance, and Brianna walked into the gym looking for Charlie, who had said he'd meet her there. She saw Maddie, Amber, and Elijah glaring at her from a corner, then turned away to spot Charlie talking to someone. Hey, there you are. You look good. 
She leaned in to kiss him, but he gently pushed her away. We need to talk. I can't delay it any longer. Okay, you sound serious. What is it? Brianna, I'm breaking up with you. What? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Do I look like I'm joking? Charlie, come on, what are you doing? I said I'm breaking up with you. I, I don't understand. Can we please? Are you really as dumb as everyone says? I thought you were the smartest of the Barbie angels. Did you really think I was in love with you? No, Brianna, I was just playing your game. When you told me how you were desperately in love with me, I saw it as the perfect chance to take revenge. I decided to make you believe I loved you too, and then dump you publicly just like you girls did. Brianna stared at him speechlessly as everyone stared at them. Then Charlie walked closer and leaned in. How does that feel, being fooled and humiliated? I thought you should experience it. Oh, also one more thing. I won't be returning the $200,000 I borrowed from you. I've spent it already, treating myself to some nice things. I figured it's fair compensation for everything you've put me through. With that, Charlie left while Brianna stood frozen in her spot. Suddenly, she found Amber by her side. Come on, let's get out of here. As they walked out into the hallway, they heard Madison cackling loudly <laughs> behind them. Wow, that was epic. I've never respected Charlie more in my life. He really played a number on you, Bree Bree. And Amber, get away from her. She's not your friend anymore. Brianna didn't respond and continued walking away. We really broke him, didn't we, Brianna? Turned a perfectly nice guy into a heartless jerk. <laughs> now that's a high school project I'll always remember. Suddenly, Brianna turned around and lunged at her. Madison screamed as she tried to fight Brianna off. A few kids, including Amber, finally managed to pull them apart. God knows I've been wanting to hit you since the day I met you. And that's a memory I will cherish for years. Brianna turned away and ran out, breaking out into sobs. Brianna refused to go to school and just stayed in bed for days, feeling completely miserable. One morning, a maid brought her a letter. It was from Charlie. She anxiously ripped it open, and the check she'd given him for $200,000 fell out. He didn't even use it. He was just teasing me. I really don't get this jerk. He's completely messed me up. She buried her head in her arms and started to cry, but then she stopped and picked up the check. I don't care what Charlie thinks of me. I'm gonna use this to save my show. She jumped out of bed, stuffed the check in her bag, and put on her coat. A few days later, Charlie and Grandma were watching the local news on TV, when suddenly, Brianna's face appeared on the screen with the headline saying, Young TV star diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Charlie stared in shock, then his face darkened. Poor girl, that's terrible news. Charlie, I don't know what happened between you two, but I think we should go see her. She's lying. What do you mean? She's not sick, Grandma. This is all an act to get ratings and views for her show. What? No, she wouldn't do that. Why do you have to assume the worst about people lately? Because they are the worst. She told me of her plan to do this herself. Well, she must have some reason. Brianna isn't like that. Yes, she is. Why do you need to see the good in everyone, Grandma? Least of all these people. They're awful and shallow, and they think people like us are more worthless than the gum stuck to their shoes. I made a huge mistake convincing you to attend this school. I thought nothing could ever change you, but I was wrong. I hardly recognized recognize you these days, Charlie. Grandma walked out before Charlie could say another word. A few days later, Brianna was told someone had come to see her downstairs. She made sure she looked pale and walked weakly into the lounge to find Elijah sitting next to her mom. What are you doing here? Mom, I told you, I feel too sick to have visitors. Brianna, please sit down. This is important. Brianna, we both know you haven't been very nice to me, but I've always cared about you. It just crushed me the way that poor scumbag humiliated you. What do you want, Elijah? Oh, I don't want anything, but I brought you something that will really teach Charlie the lesson he deserves. That day at the spring dance, one of the kids standing close to you made a video. Elijah handed her his phone, and Brianna stared at it in shock to see Charlie <gasps> caught on camera saying, How does that feel, being fooled and humiliated? I thought you should experience it. Oh, also one more thing. I won't be returning the $200,000 I borrowed from you. I've spent it already, treating myself to some nice things. I figured it's fair compensation for everything you've put me through. Brianna, when were you going to tell me about this? If Elijah hadn't shown me this video, 
now, I would never have checked your account and known that $200,000 have been withdrawn. How dare he threaten to not return your money? Oh god, how can I tell mom that Charlie returned the money? If she asked me where I spent it, I can't tell her I used it to bribe the doctor. Brianna, answer me. Has he been making any other threats? No, mom, he hasn't. Please, I'm just too sick to deal with all this. He'll give it back. Oh, you bet he will. When I sue him, I'll have my lawyer send him a notice today. No! I don't want to do that! Honey, I'm not asking you to be a part of this. You just need to rest. I'll take care of everything. There is no way I'm going to let some good-for-nothing beggar rob us blind. He's treated you very poorly, Brianna. Don't worry, we'll make him pay. Brianna got up and left the room, feeling panicked. When Mom accuses Charlie, he'll rat me out. What if the news gets out and everyone discovers that I faked my illness? My reputation will be ruined for good. Oh God, what have I done? The next night, Charlie found a courier at his door, handing him over a legal notice to appear in court the next morning. It was served by Brianna's mother, accusing him of stealing $200,000. He crumpled the paper and threw it aside, holding his head in his hands. Moments later, he got up and looked at himself in the mirror. I gave her back the money, and she used that to bribe the doctor, but of course she didn't tell her mom and now she's too scared to tell the truth. So her mom thinks I still have the money and I'm some thief. If I said the truth, Brianna's reputation would be ruined. Ugh, I won't stand a chance against people like them in court. Why should I suffer anymore because of Brianna? I shouldn't even go. But I will, because I'm in love with her. The next morning in court, Brianna nervously stole glances at Charlie as she sat next to her mom and Elijah. Charlie just sat there, blankly, not turning to her once. Would the plaintiff's lawyer please read out the charges made against the defendant? The defendant, Mr. Charlie, is accused of the theft of $200,000 from Miss Brianna. We have submitted video evidence where he admits himself that he has no intention to return money given to him as a loan. The defendant is also accused of bullying and harassing Miss Brianna, causing severe emotional and psychological damage. We have submitted documents of Miss Brianna's recent illness, triggered by extreme distress. Objection, Your Honor. Is there any medical evidence to prove that? Your Honor, I know it's not my place to speak, but as a mother, I simply cannot stay silent. My only child has fallen extremely sick after being harassed by him. Her school, her work, her health, everything has been affected by his actions. Her doctors will vouch for it. And people like Charlie are predators who prey on the feelings of rich young women to get money out of them. He must be made to pay for it. Brianna's mom <laughs> burst into tears as she took her place, while Brianna stared at her in shock. She's a better actress than I am. Would the defendant like to say something in response to that? Charlie rose from his seat, slowly. No, Your Honor. Did you intend to return the $200,000? No, Your Honor. And do you believe your actions have caused Miss Brianna psychological and emotional damage? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. Young man, do you understand that the charges against you are very serious? If you are unable to return the loaned money as well as damages, you could land for two years in prison. Charlie looked up and hung his head. I understand, Your Honor. Very well. Since you have pleaded guilty on all counts, the court gives you a day to arrange $500,000 or face prison. No! No! This is enough! Brianna, what are you doing? What I should have done before. Your Honor, I want to immediately withdraw this case. There is no case against Charlie. He returned the money, and I spent it on bribing a doctor to say that I'm sick. I did it to increase ratings and views for my stupid show. Everyone stared at Brianna in shock. Why would you? How could you lie to me like this? Because you've made me feel like I'm a failure as an actress, and I just wanted to fix things on my own. I was feeling down, and I wasn't thinking clearly. It was desperate and stupid, and I would have never told you, but this has gone too far. Young lady, you will be fined for wasting the court's time. I understand, Your Honor, and I will pay it, and I am so sorry. Case dismissed. The judge walked out of the courtroom, and Brianna held up a hand to her mom. We'll talk, but not now. Please, just Leave me alone, Mom. Just go. Brianna's mom and Elijah stormed off, and soon, it was just Charlie and Brianna in the room. And suddenly, Brianna pushed him really hard. Oh my god, what is your problem? You! I swear, Charlie, I don't understand you one bit. Yeah, I wouldn't expect someone like you to. If you hate me so much, why were you about to go to freaking jail for me instead of telling the truth? You answered your question yourself, but I'll give you a few minutes to figure it out. I know you're slow. What are you saying? 
You don't hate me? Charlie just looked at her and she started to cry. If you don't hate me, Charlie, then why did you break my heart? Because I became a monster, Brianna. I just couldn't get over how you girls used me for entertainment. I was just so consumed by anger and revenge. But after I broke up with you, I realized that hurting someone you love is the worst feeling in the world. I just couldn't expose your secrets and make you look bad, and I'm really sorry for how I've treated you. So am I. I hate the things we've done to each other. Listen, do you think there's any chance that we can start over? No drama, no games, no lies. Because I really love you, Brianna. I know your way out of my league, I always knew that. And you could find someone else ten times richer and handsomer, like you deserve to be with some movie star. But I swear I'll try to be cooler and I won't ever hurt you again, and if you let me out- How do I get you to stop talking? I'll even work on that, it's a nervous tick, I'll go to a therapist and- I have a better idea. And with that, Brianna leaned in and kissed him.